I'm Dr. Daniel Burns. I'm a cardiac surgeon at Cleveland Clinic. Today I want to talk to you about one of the more common things that can happen after your heart surgery. This is something known as atrial fibrillation. This is a heart rhythm disturbance that results from manipulating the heart during cardiac surgery. About one in every three patients gets atrial fibrillation after a cardiac surgery when they've had no history of it beforehand. Thankfully, in many cases, this is easily treatable. What happens during atrial fibrillation is the upper chamber of the heart has a more chaotic electrical activity rather than a more organized top to bottom conduction. That leaves the upper chamber of the heart unable to pump in a coordinated manner. Because of this, not only can the heart rate go very high, but also there's a risk of developing blood clots afterwards. In most cases of atrial fibrillation, in a short period of time, by changing around the post-operative medications, we can break this rhythm. In more rare cases, the heart rate may be so fast that it may be causing blood pressure compromise. In that case, we can do what's called a cardioversion, where we apply an electric current or a shock to the chest in order to reset the heart rhythm. The vast majority of post-operative atrial fibrillation can be treated in the hospital and the vast majority of patients go home in a normal sinus rhythm. Occasionally, the atrial fibrillation persists greater than 48 to 72 hours. In those cases, once we achieve a controlled rate, meaning the heart not going too fast, we have to start a short course of blood thinner. This is to prevent the previously mentioned blood clots from forming. The good news here is that post-operative atrial fibrillation in the vast majority of cases is self-limited. So in the minority of patients that may go home with atrial fibrillation, the majority of them will be back in a normal sinus rhythm within uh, one to two weeks, generally meaning that long-term blood thinners will not be required. However, a small subset of patients may continually persist in which case ongoing management of not only the heart rate, heart medications, and blood thinners may need to be undertaken by your local cardiology team. Once you go home after your heart surgery, you may not know whether or not you're in atrial fibrillation, and that can be totally normal. The most common telltale sign is a racing heart rate, and you may feel this in your neck or in your chest, and in those cases, it's important to get in touch with not only your heart surgeon, but your local medical team as well. In many, if not most cases, this is able to be resolved medically and shouldn't result in any major complications going forward. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.